Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. This is a 20 inch MDF base and I found the center, drew circles and created grids. Angles are marked at every 20 degree here. So this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. So 0 and 180 falls here. Similar way, I have marked angles in this part of the circle too. Let's get started with dotting now. I'll start with dotting in the center in white. Now I'll keep some tiny dots in white. I'll keep some dots in salmon pink now. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. I'll keep some dots with pink. Now I'll keep tiny dots. Now I'll keep some more pink dots. Now this pink is from Camel. The earlier one was from Fevicryl. Now I'll keep tiny dots in this pink. I'll keep some golden dots now. Now I'll keep two side swipes in gold. I'll keep some white dots now. I'll keep some golden dots now. Now I'll keep some salmon pink dots. I'll walk the dots in salmon pink. Now I'll walk the dots in gold. Now I'll keep some white dots. I'll keep tiny dots in white now. Now I'll top dot the white dots with salmon pink. Now I'll keep some white dots. Now I'll keep some golden dots. Now 
Now I'll keep some pink dots and this pink shade is from Fevicryl. When compared with pink from Camel, Fevicryl's pink is a little lighter. I'll work the dots in pink now. Now I'll work the dots in gold. I'll keep some white dots now. Now I'll keep tiny dots in white. Now I'll top dot the white dots with fevicryl pink. Now I'll keep some white dots. I'll keep some golden dots now. Now I'll keep some camel's pink dot. I'll work the dots in pink.
Now I will work the dots in gold. Now I'll keep some white dots. I'll keep tiny white dots now. Now I'll top dot the white dots with pink from camel Now I'll keep some straight swipes in salmon pink. Now I'll keep some more straight swipes in pink.
I'll keep some golden dots now. I'll keep tiny dots now. I'll keep some white dots now. I'll keep two side swipes in salmon pink. I'll keep two more side swipes in pink. I think so far dot mandala came out really well. I'm going to let this painting dry for some time. Once it is fully dry, then I'm going to apply spray varnish and let it dry again. Then fix mirrors in all the empty places here. I'll show you the process of fixing the mirrors as well. So the painting was fully dry and I have applied um, spray varnish too. And uh, varnish is also completely dry. So I'm going to fix uh, these tiled uh, diamond shaped mirrors in these places now. Before placing the mirrors, let me place Vevicol first. I'll place the mirrors now.
Now I'm going to place mirrors in all these places. So I'll place the fevicol first. I'm only placing a tiny dot of fevicol because the mirrors are going to be small. I'm placing small circular mirrors. So I'm going to place these diamond shaped mirrors in all these places. So I'll place fevicol first and then place the mirrors. I'll place the mirrors now. I'll place some mirrors in all these places now. I'll place fevicol first, then the mirrors. I'll place the mirrors now. Now I'll place mirrors in all these places. I'll place fevicol first, then the mirrors. I will now place the mirrors. These are uh, S-shaped uh, mirrors, I believe. I don't know the exact shape name and all, so I have named it myself. I'm sure after fixing the mirrors, this dot mandala looks even more beautiful and shining. Thank you for watching this video. Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. This is a 20 inch MDF base in which as usual I found the center, drew circles and uh, created grids. And angles are marked at every 15 degree here. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, 135, 150, 165, 0 and 180 falls here. And in similar fashion I have marked the angles in this part of the circle too. Now generally I create a painting and then I sell it too. But this is the first time I am recording a video. Um, and this is already sold out and I am preparing this for a client order. Let's get started with dotting. I will start with dotting in the center in gold. I will keep some dots in sky blue. I 
I'll keep tiny dots now. Now I'll keep some dots in a lighter shade of light blue that I created. If you noticed for the previous circle of dots also I used the same tool but the size of the dot is smaller earlier but bigger now. So it all depends on how much amount of paint you pick up with the tool. So with the same sized tool you can produce different sized dots. Now I'll keep tiny dots. Now I'll keep some dots with light blue. This is the actual light blue shade that I have. For the previous one I mixed white with this light blue. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. Now I'll keep some dots in cerulean blue. Now I'll keep tiny dots. I'll keep some golden dots now. Now I'll keep two side swipes for every golden dot here. Now I'll keep some sky blue dots. Now I'll keep two side swipes in light blue. I'll keep dots twice so that I create a plumpy dot and I'll have enough paint to drag it as a swipe. I'll keep another dot, drag a little. Then drag completely. I'll repeat the process now with explanation. I'll keep one dot. I'll keep another dot. Drag a little bit and then drag completely. I'll keep two more side swipes in cerulean blue. I'll keep some golden dots now. I've left this place empty because once the painting is fully dry, I'm going to place some mirrors here. So I'm keeping this empty. I'll keep some golden dots now. I'll keep some tiny dots now. Now 
Now I'll keep some straight swipes in a particular shade of blue. After keeping some straight swipes with my tool, I decided to keep a dot then make it to a swipe because that gives me a lot of control over the shape of the swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. You will now see few of my swipes at my original speed. Yes, there are a lot of uh, viewers and subscribers have asked me what exactly is your origin original speed of painting. So I thought I'll show you today. Nobody paints at uh, the speed that is shown in the video. This 20 inch MDF board actually takes somewhere between 3 to 4 hours for me to finish. But you all see it uh, somewhere within 20 to 25 minutes. So this is the time that I take for each and every swipe to make it from a dot to a swipe. And you have to show extreme patience in doing it. We cannot be in a hurry and still expect a great outcome. I'll keep the remaining swipes now. Now I'll keep some more side swipes in cerulean blue in between any two swipe here. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. I'll keep some golden dots now. I'll keep some tiny dots now.
Now I'll place some golden dots. Now I'll keep some sky blue dots. I'll keep some golden dots now. Now I'll keep some dots in light blue. I'll walk the dots in sky blue. I'll now walk the dots using light blue. I'll walk the dots in gold now. Now I'll keep some golden dots. I'll keep some created blue shade dots. Walk the dots now. I'll keep some cerulean blue dots. Now I'll work the dots using cerulean blue.
Now I'll keep some golden dots. I'll keep some blue dots now. I'll work the dots third layer now. Now I'll work the dots using gold. Now I'm going to let this uh, painting dry for at least 48 hours and then varnish it. After spray varnishing, I'll again dry it for 24 hours, then fix the mirrors here. So I'm going to fix the mirrors here and in this place too and also here. I'll show you all this process too. So this painting is fully dry now. Uh, varnish is dry too. So now it's a time to fix mirrors. I'm going to fix the mirrors in all these empty places here. So I'll place Fevicol first. I'll place mirrors now. Now as a next step, I'm going to place mirrors in between any two patterns here. I'll place Fevicol first. Now I'll put Fevicol in all these places and place mirrors. I'll place hexagon shaped mirrors alternatively. In the remaining places I'll place heart shaped mirrors. I'm 
juncture after placing the mirrors this mandala looks even more shiny and beautiful thank you for watching this video hello everyone i welcome you all to atm creations this is a 20 inch mdf base in which i found the center drew random circles and uh, created grids the angles are marked at every 15 degree like 15 30 45 etc uh, the same way i have marked the angles and created grids in this part of the circle too in this dot mandala creation i'm planning to give some tips for fellow dot artists so stay tuned till the end let's get started with dotting now i'll start with dotting in the center in gold now i'll keep tiny golden dots when i dip this tool into the paint i dip only the ball side of the tool so that i pick up less amount of paint and the size of the dot can be consistently similar earlier i have done the mistake of dipping the entire tool into the paint and keeping some two three dots in one go so what happens is uh, the dots won't be similar in size and i used to wonder why the size is not similar so all we need is some patience and dip only the tip of the tool in the paint not the entire tool now i'll keep some lemon yellow dots now i'll keep some tiny dots now i'll keep some chrome yellow dots when i pick up paint and keep a dot i'll make sure i don't touch the surface so that the paint drops off automatically i'll keep two side swipes in chrome yellow when you are keeping thin swipe and for a shorter distance you need to be really conscious about the amount of paint you pick up else you can't get beautiful swipe i'll keep some dots in golden yellow now now i'm dotting within the grid so it's becoming very easier for me now i'll keep tiny dots in golden yellow see when you rotate the board for uh, painting in a different uh, angle if the paint is thick it is fine or if the paint is little thin then you need to be really slow in rotating the board otherwise if you rotate it faster the dot may move here and there and this rotating technique is not only for the mdf board is for any painting surface now i'll keep some dots in cream yellow now tiny dots time i'm going to tiny dot in cream yellow for tiny dotting i choose the tool depending on the space that i have between any two dots so here the space is big so i chose a bigger tool now i'll keep some orange dots now i'll keep two side swipes in orange I'll keep some tiny golden dots now.
I'll keep some golden dots now. Few people do ask me how to get a perfect dot and this is what I do. I pick up a lot of paint and then I don't press it hard on the surface. I wait until the paint drops off automatically and then give a gentle press on the paint itself, not on the surface. So that requires a lot of patience and I do that for each and every dot. I'll keep some dots with lemon yellow now. Now I'll keep some golden dots. I'll work the dots in chrome yellow now. Now I'll work the dots in gold. I'll keep some orange dots now. I'll keep some straight swipes in lemon yellow. I'll keep a plumpy dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. For keeping these plumpy dots also, I pick up a lot of paint and then wait until the paint drops off. If you clearly notice, my dotting tool doesn't touch the surface at all. Now I'll keep two side swipes in orange. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. How much amount of paint you pick up for keeping a plumpy dot depends on whether your paint is thin or thick. If your paint is creamy consistency you may have to take a little more paint. If it is thin you have to take a little less. I'll keep some golden dots. To me this mandala looks beautiful already. 
what do you think about it let me know in the comments now i'm going to keep some chrome yellow dots Keep some golden dots. I'll work the dots in chrome yellow. I'll work the dot second layer. Now I'll work the dots in gold. Now I'll keep some straight swipes in chrome yellow. I'm going to keep a dot and then make it to a swipe. I'm keeping less amount of paint this time because the swipe has to be smaller. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I'll keep two side swipes in orange. I will keep some golden dots now. Now I'll keep some dots in golden yellow.
I'll keep some golden dots now. I'll work the dots in golden yellow now. I'll walk the dot second layer in golden yellow too. Now I'll work the dots in gold. Now I'll keep some orange dots. Now I'll keep straight swipes in golden yellow. I'll keep a plumpy dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I'll keep two side swipes in orange. I'll keep plumpy dot and then make it to a swipe. I'll make these dots into swipes now. I'll keep some golden dots now. Now 
Now I'll keep some dots and cream yellow. Now I'll work the dots and cream yellow. Now I'll work the dot second layer in golden yellow. Now I'll keep some golden dots. Now I'll work the dots in gold. Now I'll keep some orange dots. Now I'll keep some straight swipes in cream yellow. I'll keep plumpy dot and make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I am keeping plumpy dot, I will make it to a swipe later. I will make these dots into swipes now.
I'm sure this dot mandala looks really vibrant. Thank you for watching this video. Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. This is 20 inch MDF base in which I found the center, drew some circles and created grids all over. The angles are marked at every 30 degree. 0 and 180 here. So 30, 60, 90, 120 and 150. In this dot mandala, I'm planning to use only metallic and pearl colors. Let's get started with dotting. I'll start with dotting in the center in gold. Now I'll keep some tiny golden dots. I love this tiny dotting more than the bigger dots. Now I'll keep some dots in metallic blue. Now I'll keep tiny dots. I don't know if the tiny dots is visible in the video. Now I'll keep some dots in light green. I'll keep two side swipes now. Now I'll keep some dots in dark green. Now I'll keep tiny dots. Now I'll keep some dots in pearl pink. I'll keep some tiny dots now. I'll keep some dots in light violet now. If you see there is a difference between the dots here and the dots here. When I started dotting initially the paint was thick so I added little medium and then made it little thin. I think now the dotting is perfect. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. Now I'll keep some golden dots. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. I'll keep some golden dots now. I'll keep some blue dots now. I'll keep some dots and light green. Now some dark green dots. Now I'll keep some light violet dots. I'll keep some pink dots now. I'll walk the dots in blue now. I'll walk 
the dots in light green now. Now I'll walk the dots using dark green. Now I'll walk the dots using pink. Now I'll walk the dots using light violet. Keep straight swipes in dark green. I'll keep a plumpy dot then make it to a swipe. I'm making these dots into swipes now. Now I'll keep two side swipes in light green. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I'll keep some straight swipes in light violet. I did keep a swipe uh, wrongly here. So what I did was I have an old toothbrush. I did wet the toothbrush and uh, scrubbed it a little. And uh, now I have this piece of cloth using which I'll just wipe it off. And if required, I'll repeat the process until it is clear. Mistakes do happen and it is okay. See the swipe that I kept by mistake is gone.
Now I'll give some straight swipes in pink. I'll keep some golden dots now. I'll keep some blue dots now. Now some light green dots. Now I'll keep dark green dots. I'll keep some light violet dots now. I'll keep some pink dots. I'll walk the dots in dark blue. Now I'll walk the dots in light green. Now I'll walk the dots in dark green. I'll walk the dots using pink. Now we'll walk the dots using light violet. Now I'll keep two pink dots. Ooh. 
and keep some light violet dots now. I'll keep some straight swipes in dark green. I'll keep a plumpy dot then make it to a swipe. I'll make these dots into swipes now. I'll keep two side swipes and light green. I'll keep a dot, then make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I'll keep two more side swipes in gold. As usual, I'll keep a dot, then make it to a swipe. I'll make these dots into swipes now. I'm sure this dot modella came out really well. It looks so vibrant and shiny too. Thank you for watching this video.